Barbuda Ocean Club, Cocoa Point neighborhood, occupies 164 acres of land with residential homes already being constructed and many other amenities to be completed. It promises an intimate island living. Further down the coast, Palmetto Point, 600 acres with seven miles of beachfront and home to Tom Fazio Golf Course and some 395 residences among other luxurious areas. Throughout the development thus far, Project President Justin Wilshaw says maintaining the exquisite sites is what PLH is all about. It's a pristine, beautiful site, but that again puts challenges on us. We must stay true to the environment, we must stay true to what it is and protecting the, uh, the natural beauty of it. So we're very big on making sure that the environment, whichever environment we touch, be it Cocoa Point and checking the turtle nests and starting to, to look at recycling, or be it Palmetto Point, we walked into a site that was down to 10% of its natural habitat. We're now rebounding that to be over 50%. So wherever we go, we go at painstake to make sure we're giving back to the environment and ultimately giving back to the community, be it through jobs or the natural habitat and defences from obviously what happened here with Irma. Wilshaw was quick to add the legitimacy of every ground moving development PLH has made on Barbuda has been done in the right way. We have been engaged with the community. There has been a lot of talk, but I will emphasise this, that absolutely we've honoured every land lease that we've put down. We've done the right thing. We've honoured the agreements with both the council and the, and the government of Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, we try to have a close working relationship and we're open for business. So what we like to do is work with parties to make sure this is a sustainable future, that we're thinking about the strategy for the long-term employment and creation of value for not only the Barbudans, but the Antiguan government as well. So we make sure that everybody's coming on this journey. The project president says building the economy of Barbuda is another facet of the development, something he says the company takes seriously. At the moment, we employ 60 people directly. We're looking to have that over to 100 people by the end of the year. And then on the other side, it's building the entrepreneurial skill. What are those businesses that we can build to grow with a club? Be it the bus driving, be it the services, uh, be it the uh, su supplies for farming and cooking. So we're very active in the community right now, investing back into those businesses to help grow with us.